Hi all, and uh, thank you for taking the time to watch uh, this tutorial. I'm Stéphane Richard. I use the nickname uh, Wusa on the internet uh, because there is so many Stéphane Richard, in fact. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to cover the making of uh, this image that uh, you have in front of you. And uh, it's not entirely finished. I'm going to make the last few tweaks with you guys so you can uh, you can see and I can share with you uh, my thought about uh, what this image needs to be improved. Um, I'm going to show you the plan of the tutorial. So I'm, I want to make uh, 10 chapters and um, you'll have uh, the full process recorded. It's, uh, it's time lapse. It's been sped up uh, eight times. And uh, this image took around uh, 50 hours to complete. It's kind of the, the time that I usually take to, to make my uh, commercial uh, images. Uh, so I would say I'm more around 40 usually. And uh, here, because I really wanted to take the time and uh, really think about the, the steps I, I was taking, uh, I, I took a bit more time. Um, I also want you to, I want to share with you the, the structure of the of the folder you get. So you'll find in the files um, five different uh, movie files covering the entire process. So from from start to finish, uh, it's uh, 50 hours of. Um, of uh, sculpting, painting, and uh, research uh, sped up eight, eight times. And I just want to show you a trick for for you to to be comfortable with uh, with the image, uh, with the watching of the tutorial. So if you use um, VLC Meta Player. Uh, using your your numpad key uh, keyboard with the plus and minus uh, touch, you can uh, decide the, the speed. And uh, because it's been recorded at I think 30 frame by a minute, uh, for 30 frame by second, excuse me. So if you lower the, the speed, you can watch it real time. Two points. 2.26 it's going to be real time so if there is part of the tutorials um, of the making that seems weird or difficult to to comprehend you can just slow down the process and uh, it's still going to be uh, possible to watch it at this uh, at this rate though the frame rate is not uh, very elevated uh, i think it's still uh, it's still okay like that Sped up two times, sped up four times, and at full speed, sped up eight times. Uh, you'll also find the 10 different chapters that I'm going to record uh, right now, and uh, separated in uh, different uh, archives that's going to be downloadable from, from Gumgoad from uh, Gumroad, sorry, uh, you'll find uh, those different uh, folders. So the image folder contain uh, the different uh, steps. Mostly they are, they, they are uh, key shot renders, but uh, they are really showing the different uh, steps of the, of the sculpting phase uh, in uh, ZBrush and also the different renderings that I did and that I used to, uh, to compose the, uh, the final image. In the Keyshot folder, you'll find two different uh, Keyshot files. The composition block out, where I just uh, blocked the, the uh, 2D composition that I've decided. And uh, I, add, uh, I added very basic um, uh, 3D geometry to see if um, with light and shadows, it was matching my, uh, my, my values in my composition. And you'll find the rendering file 
uh, we'll go through in more details together later in this tutorial. Uh, so they are quite heavy files. I, I hope this is going to be okay for you to open them. And uh, also you'll find the different uh, texture files that I used. Uh, there is a marvelous designer folder where you'll find the different uh, projects that I used to make various uh, simulations. And also I designed a, a, a toga for the, the, for the figure that you'll find in this file. Obviously the Photoshop folder, which is where most of the, of the work uh, happened with ZBrush. Uh, so there is a file covering the composition, another the photo bashing and detailing from the different renders that I did in Keyshot, and finally the painting uh, file where I mostly finish the image and turn it into, into a painting. And, uh, and last, the ZBrush folder where, you, where you'll find the full scene, the complete scene that I used to, to render in Keyshot. And, uh, <coughs> Some parts, I just decimated them before importing them in the full scene. So for those decimate, decimated assets, I'm going, uh, you'll find the HD uh, ZTL that you will be able to open in ZBrush too. So next, uh, I'm going to quickly cover some of my work and my personal background and, uh, and education. Uh, because I, I think most of the choice I make in my image I, are really related to, 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 my, uh, to my path. And uh, maybe for you guys, it can, it can make an echo to your own, uh, to your own path and your, your, your own choices. So I'm, I'm, ju I'm just going to go through that very quickly. Uh, then I want to cover the different references that I gathered. And uh, I explain how I moved from one idea to another, which happen uh, very often in my uh, personal images. I, I often start with an idea and I end up with something uh, quite different. And uh, it's mostly happen through gathering references, uh, which is kind of a, of a thinking process at the same time. And, uh, and, a, and, a, and a creative and, um, and a free association between the different uh, uh, image that I can find or the different descriptions sometimes if it's something that relate to, to historical matter. And um, oh. this, uh, along with the composition part, which is very abstract based for me, uh, generally helped me to, to, uh, to really go through the first the first idea which is generally not that good to to something more more personal and uh, and uh, maybe more na narrative hopefully um, then i just want to go through the, the different uh, image uh, we are going to find in the images folder just to give you um, a, a general linear overview of the sculpting process uh, after that, we'll go through the, the different uh, Photoshop files, uh, mainly the compositing and the and the painting um, the painting uh, files, just to go through the different layers. And uh, I, I'll share with you uh, a bit of uh, of my thought process and uh, and the choices I made. Then I want to cover the composition. Uh, Composition for me is a very important, uh, very important phase. I think it's it mostly decide whether or not uh, an image will will work or, or will be a fail. And um, I developed uh, with time uh, a very abstract uh, composition uh, composition method, but I I, I really love this this, uh, this process because it it's really helped me to to come with uh, with composition with which was uh, quite difficult for me uh, before when I was thinking uh, uh, with a semantic uh, in mind uh, from the beginning. Uh, seven, I'm going to cover the different uh, ZBrush steps of the sculpting. And um, hopefully because we, we will have covered the different uh, steps of the making of the image before that, it will make it will uh, make much more sense to, to cover that in that part. Um, eight, I'm going to go through the rendering file, 
key shot rendering file and uh, introducing you to the different materials I used and how I set, it, set, uh, set them up. Uh, I'm using Keyshot 6, which has this amazing uh, node editor that was uh, missing from the other version. So uh, I'll show you uh, how you can um, connect uh, the different models together and create your very own uh, materials in Keyshot. Uh, 99, I'll go through the, through, through the different filters, plug, plugins, and uh, external tools that I'm using. Uh, I'm kind of a, of, a, of a tool geek, I have to say. So uh, I, I don't like to collect the tools just for the pleasure of having tools, but when I find a software or a plugin which really helped me to solve a problem, uh, I try to to, uh, to make my hand of it and uh, just learn how to, to use it for for my own uh, for my own in it, or my own needs. And uh, final ten, I know this image needs a, a final few tricks, so a few tweaks. So I'll I'll go through through this with you in real time and uh, sharing with you my thoughts about the image and uh, maybe what I think could be improved, uh, even though. At some time, I just have to, to cut it down. So here it is. So now let's go for the second part.